Hey there, YouTube. This is Vargas XX78. I would have heard Tales from the Vargas Vault. Um, it's it, we got a storm going on right now. It's it's really rainy and it's really depressing. So I thought I would uh, cheer myself up and also share with everyone another comic book collection video. Um, uh, this time around, I wanted to share or continue my uh, Superman collection. Uh, last time I uploaded a comic book collection video, I did so with the Superman minis and the one-shots. Uh, this time around, I wanted to share with you guys the uh, Superman run. Uh, this is the first comic book box of like a five comic book box that I have, and I uh, just want to share what's inside. So I hope you all enjoy. Uh, first off, I wanted to start off with, uh, this is not the actual first action comics, this is a reprint that uh, DC released when Superman reach, reached 50. Uh, and this isn't even the complete action comics, this only reprint, repr reprints uh, the first appearance of Superman, so it only has Superman's story in it. But I, I, I picked this one picked this one up at a swap meet, and uh, I thought it was a cool thing to, to own. I said, it, it only has like eight pages on it, but uh, I thought it was cool, and it, it, it's a, it's a um, reproduction of the first Action Comics cover. Just It says uh, 50 Years of Superman there. But I thought it was cool, fine. Now, uh, these are some miniseries that DC also released. I don't have these on the miniseries box because these are origin tales. So they kind of fit at the beginning of my collection. But uh, this is the first issue of Superman for All Seasons. Uh, this is written by Jeb Lubb back when uh, Jeb Lubb <laughs> would write awesome stuff with art by Tim Sale. Um, they started doing these origin issues with, for DC. They did it with uh, Batman. Uh, with Batman The Long Halloween and then Dark Victory. Uh, they released this one and they started doing a whole bunch of them for, for Marvel. But uh, this is issue two. And these are these aren't these, these are weird to classify. They're not really origin issues, but they do deal with Superman's earlier days. So they don't overstep on uh the Super Superman mythos. They just, you know, uh try to Add kind of like their their own taste to it, and this is issue four. Uh, again, the writing was really really cool, and the artwork I thought was really awesome as well. Then DC did another <coughs> sorry about that another origin story with Superman Birthright. Uh, this was written by Mark Wade with art by Linnell Francis Yu, and I'm a big fan of Linnell Francis Yu's artwork. A lot of people might not like it, but I, I really, really dig his artwork. And Mark Wade is, is a really awesome uh, comic book writer. And uh, this retells Superman's origin. And uh, but it, it, it's not within the straight up um, DC universe. It, it's I don't know if it, this is considered an Elseworld story, but it does take elements for like Smallville because Lex Luthor was it wasn't Smallville and. Uh, he moved to Metropolis, and when Superman hits the scene, uh, you know, he distrusts Superman, but this is issue three. The thing I like most about these was, of course, the cover, the covers, and the interior artwork. Um, I just really, really like uh, Lionel Francis' you art, his, his artwork. Uh, he actually, uh, the first time I remember seeing him uh, was, uh, this is issue four, was drawing Wolverine, and I think he did a really, really badass Wolverine. Issue six. And I thought this was a really good miniseries. Uh, this is issue seven. And the gist of it is that, uh, that Lex Luthor uh, organizes this fake Kryptonian invasion. This is issue eight. So that uh, the world distrusts Superman because uh, he's like this, um, he's part of this Kryptonian invasion, but then Superman realizes what's going on. Uh, this is issue nine. 
and it's actually able to stop uh, the invasion, even though Lex Luthor gets away. This is issue 10, really, really cool Superman cover there. Hope you guys can make it out. And uh, this is issue 11. And ended in issue 12. Yeah, this, this was a really good uh, miniseries. Then we continue with this other reprint that I have. Uh, this is the when DC released these Millennium Editions. And uh, I think this came out uh, in the two yeah in around the 2000s. And this is the Superman double feature, the greatest team on earth with Superman and Batman. So, uh, well, yeah, this is a, a reprint of Superman 76. Uh, I, I really dug these um, Millennium Editions. Um, they, they, they reprint a lot of really cool stories there. And then, uh, this is, I'm not really sure what issue of Superman this is. I think this, this is in the 300s. But it's a Whitman copy of this issue. But this is uh, the greatest TV spectacular ever, live before 100 million viewers. Superman reveals his secret identity. And then I have another Whitman issue, and this is Superman versus Cobra. Uh, Cobra gets a time bubble uh, to kidnap Jonathan and Martha Kent. And uh, it also has uh, the feature you've demanded ever since the wedding of Mr. and Mrs. Superman. Yeah, I thought those were interesting. Then I have an issue, uh, issue 553 of Action Comics, featuring uh, Animal Man and um, Congorilla and uh, I forget, Dolphin, I think her name was. Yep. And I have that issue of uh, that issue four or three of Superman, which I'm still not sure if it, if it's the first appearance of the Monitor, because the Monitor does appear at the beginning of this, but he's in shadow; you can't really see him. So I, I still have that battle. I haven't been able to look up on it, but I thought this one was cool. And then I have another Millennium reprint of the first issue of The Man of Steel. Now, this is when the Superman that I started reading uh, started up. Uh, John Byrne uh, was hired by DC to reboot Superman after a crisis. And uh, he rebooted Superman's origin. He re rebooted uh, Krypton. He rebooted uh, everything, basically. And it started off with this. This was a six-issue miniseries. Uh, here's the reprinted cover. And here's uh, what the cover looked like originally. Uh, and this is a reprint of issue one, but I was lucky enough to find the rest of the issues. Uh, this is issue two. And issue three. Uh, this is his first meeting with in the reboot universe with Batman. Teaming up against Magpie. And uh, issue four uh, with Lex Luthor back when he still had hair. And this is issue five, which uh, features Bizarro. And issue six, uh, where he gets glimpses of uh, his Kryptonian heritage, and they introduce Lana Lang. Uh, but yeah, this is the Superman that I grew up with. Uh, this is the Superman that I remember. Um, this uh, this is the Superman that um, started me with Superman. This is my this was my introduction to the Superman character, and his and his supporting cast is is the one that I followed for the longest time. So uh, I want to get all the Superman Adventures of Superman and Action Comics issues of this whole you know uh, Superman. Uh, if I get some older issues, that would be awesome, but uh, I already have all the uh, Adventures of Superman. 
I'm missing one of su uh, one issue of Superman Volume One, and uh, I'm missing a bunch of action comics. But my dream goal is to pick up all of the um, all of the issues that deal with this Superman, because again, this is the Superman that I grew up with. And uh, this is the first issue of Superman Volume Two. Uh, this introduces Metallo and Kryptonite. And if you're wondering what these things are, I, I caught these off from old Wizard magazines. I just thought it was a, a good reference to have there because it, 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 it states what happens in an issue. And I just put them in there for fun uh, or, or as a base of reference. But this is the first issue of the Superman Volume 2. Then the original Superman got transformed into Adventures of Superman. Following, uh, started out with 424. And uh, this is Superman 2, where Lex Luthor commissions a team of scientists to try to figure out Superman's secret identity. And they figure out that Superman is Clark Kent, but Lex Luthor is like, ah, oh, Superman would never have that kind of low super ident secret identity. So he discards the whole project and fires everyone. And I jump up to Adventures of Superman 425. Then Action Comics 585. Really cool issue featuring the Phantom Stranger. And then uh, Superman 3 with Dark Side there. And then Adventures of Superman 426, continuing the Apocalypse storyline. Uh, Superman is brainwashed, and Darkseid plans to use him uh, to stomp out the rebels and also try to corrupt him. Uh, Storyline continues in Superman 586, where he battles Orion. And the reason why I have uh, my Superman collection like this is because this would happen a lot. Uh, a storyline would start off in Superman, continue in adventures, and conclude in action. Uh, so that's why my collection is set up this way, because I, I want to keep that continuity. And that's one of the things that I loved about the Superman comic books, because they, they would have continuity between all of their titles. Uh, they, they started in the 90s having this uh, triangle that would number all the storylines in the year. So again, it would start at Superman, continue in Adventures, maybe in Man of Steel, and then finish off in action. Uh, this is the first appearance of... Bloodsport in Superman 4. And Adventures of Superman 427. And then uh, Action Comics 587, featuring the Demon. X again. And Adventures of Superman 428. And we have uh, Super um, Action Comics 588 with the Hawks and Superman 6, Adventures of Superman 429, Action Comics 589 featuring the Green Lantern Corps. It actually concludes a plot that happened in the Phantom Stranger issue. Then issue 7, which features uh, the first Ravage, I think her name was. Uh, she was at a doctor at Star Wars that got mutated into a She-Hulk-like character. Then we have Action Comics, I'm sorry, Adventure of Superman 430. Superman issue 8, against the Legion of Superheroes. Adventure of Superman 431. Uh, Superman issue 9 featuring a short story with the Joker. Thought that was cool. Uh, 438 of Adventures of Superman. Uh, issue 10 of Superman. Uh, Lex Luthor figures out a way to mess up with Superman's powers. So he's causing all sorts of destruction. 
issue 433 of Adventures of Superman. Like I said, this is, um, uh, I'm missing a few action comics in between these, but uh, this is Superman 11, the first appearance of Mr. Mixelplick. Adventures of Superman 432, featuring Gangbuster. Uh, Superman issue 12, uh, telling the story of Lori uh, Lamaris, a uh, mermaid that Superman fell in love with, and he didn't know um, that she's still alive. Uh, issue 435 of Adventures of Superman. Issue 13 of Superman. Uh, 436 of Adventures of Superman. Issue 14 of Superman, featuring an appearance of, of Green Lantern. Uh, they're fighting the Manhunters in this one. Issue 437 of Adventures of Superman. Issue 15 of Superman. 438 of Adventures of Superman. And 598 of Action Comics featuring, I think, the first appearance of Checkmate. Issue 16 of Superman featuring the Prankster. Issue 439 of Superman. Issue 17 of Superman featuring the Silver Banshee. And issue 440 of Superman. Uh, this is when uh, Superman and Wonder Woman share a kiss. Uh, issue 18, uh, Superman travels back to the remains of Krypton uh, along with the Hawks. And he has a, an illusion there. Uh, issue 441 of Superman, another appearance by Mr. Mixelbrook. Issue 19 of Superman. 442 of Adventures of Superman. Issue 20 of Superman. This has the Men of Steel with uh, Metallo, Superman, and uh, oh, the robot guy from the Doom Patrol. We have issue 443 of Superman. Of Adventures of Superman, I'm sorry. And issue 21 of Superman, which has the first, well, not the first, well, it's, it's the start of the uh, Superman series, a uh, crossover event with the Supergirl and the Phantom Zone criminals. Well, but in, it's like in this alternate Earth, and then Adventures 444. I'm missing the action comic one, but it concludes in Superman 22, where Superman uh, kills General Sod and his three goons in that alternate Earth. Uh, I remember this was a big issue because Superman, you know, violated his his rule of never taking a life. Then uh, Adventures of Superman 445, featuring uh, I think this this is Brainiac. And issue 23, once again, featuring the Silver Banshee. 446 of Adventures, uh, featuring the Gangbuster. This was a big plot where um, Superman, after killing the Kryptonian criminals, he kind of goes insane and becomes the Gangbuster. Uh, this is Superman 24, Rampage. Rampage is the She-Hulk knockoff that DC made. Uh, Adventures of Superman 447. And Superman 25. Adventures of Superman 448. Superman 26. Adventures of Superman 449. Superman 27. Uh, Superman Gangbuster has a fight with Guardian. And that's when Guardian uh, realizes that uh, Superman is dressing up as Gangbuster. And uh, now it continues in Adventures of Superman 450 where he decides that he's a threat and he's going to go off in space because he's unstable. Uh, Superman 28 has Superman in space because he feels he's a threat to the world. 
Adventures of Superman 451. Like I said, missing, missing a lot of action comics issues here. Uh, Superman 29. Adventures uh, 452. Superman 30. Adventures 453. Superman 31, once again, with Mr. Mixleplick. Adventures uh, 454. And by this time, Superman was captured by Mongol to participate in the World War Games. Uh, Superman 32. Adventures of Superman 455. This is uh, an appearance. Of, I think this might be the first appearance of the Eradicator. And Superman 33. Adventures of 456. Superman 34. Superman's already back on Earth. Adventures of 458. The Eradicator does something to Jimmy Olsen that turns him into Elastic Boy again. Uh, Superman 35, featuring Brainiac. Uh, Adventures 457 with Intergang. Uh, Action Comics 645. This is the first appearance of Maxima. I'm just switch hands. Uh, Superman 36, another appearance by the Prankster. Adventures 459, featuring the appearance of the Fortress of Solitude. Uh, Superman 37. Adventures of Superman 460, continuing uh, the creation of the Fortress of Solitude. Superman 38. Adventures 461, concluding the Fortress of Solitude thing created by the Eradicator. And Action Comics 648, featuring an attack by Brainiac and Metallo. And Superman 39, I remember reading this cover as a kid, thought it was really cool. Adventures of Superman 6, 6, uh, oh, sorry, 462. Superman 40. Adventure Superman 463. Uh, mis missile, mixle, mixle click. Say so just a fight, a race between the Flash and Superman. Superman 41. Adventure 464. Featuring Lobo. Uh, action 651. The second appearance of Maxima. Superman 32 featuring, uh, or the, this is when the Eradicator was taking control of Superman's mind. 465 of Adventures. Superman 43. Adventures uh, 466 featuring uh, the first appearance of Hank Henshaw who would later become uh, the Cyborg Superman. And this is uh, kind of a ripoff on the Fantastic Four, but I thought it was cool. It introduces one of Superman's major bad guys later on, which is the Cyborg Superman. Uh, and then this is issue 653. That scientist that discovered that Clark Kent was Superman tries to prove her theory, steals the kryptonite ring that Lex Luthor had, and goes after Clark Kent. Uh, which leads him to a big crossover with Batman called Dark Knight over Metropolis. And it starts off in Superman 44. And then uh, Adventures 467. Really love these covers. And concludes in Action 654. And Superman 45. Adventures. 468. And I'm missing Superman 46. That's the only issue of Superman Volume 2 that I'm missing. So that skips to Adventures 469. 
Superman 47 featuring Blaze. Superman fighting for the souls of Jimmy Olsen and the son of Perry White. And Adventures 470. Superman 48. This is the return of uh, Kurt Swan writing, uh, I'm sorry, drawing Superman. Continues in Adventures 471. Then uh, Superman 49 has Mixed Click giving Lex Luthor a uh, Crimson Kryptonite, which robs Superman of all of his powers permanently. So Superman has to figure out a way to still function without powers. Continues in Adventures 472. Concludes in Superman 50. And Adventures 473 has the Green Lantern guys. Teaming up with Superman. And then Action, Action Comics 660. Lex Luthor is, getting, uh, is dying because of the kryptonite radiation from that kryptonite, kryptonite ring that he had. Passion for him, so he's dying. And this is the issue where he dies. Uh, then Superman 51, Adventures 474 has a look at a dark part of Superman's past, and issue 52, Adventures 475 has Flash, Wonder Woman, and Batman beating up on Superman. Action 662, uh, Superman reveals his secret identity to, do, to Lewis Lane because uh, they're engaged to be married by this point. And Superman 53. Uh, Adventures 476, this starts the time and time again crossover. Uh, this uh, linear man is after Booster Gold because he's breaking the time rules. Uh, but Superman gets accidentally thrown into the timeline, so he's circling all over the place, going to a Nazi time, to the region future, and everywhere in between. And uh, this box ends in Action 663, where Superman is in uh, wartime. So, yeah. So this was the first box of my Superman collection. Uh, so I still have like four other boxes to go over. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Superman collection. Lots of really cool, cool storylines, lots of really cool characters introduced, lots of awesome covers. So yeah, glad to share uh, share this little box with you guys. So like always, uh, thanks thanks so much to everyone that saw this, uh, and hopefully who leaves a comment. Um, I hope you enjoy seeing this, these collection videos because I enjoy making them and I enjoy looking back at my comic book collection because I really bring back a lot of really cool memories of reading comic books. It's like, by far my favorite hobby. So uh, thank you all again for watching and until I see you all again, this is Vargas XX78 signing off.